I guess I need to be as candid as I normally am. I would say this is one of the most delinquent, utterly irresponsible issues, subjects, call it what you like, I've seen in my aviation career. Because it involves organs of government, manufacturers, uh, science, etc., etc. And, and, you know, the notion that, the, for instance, the United States government should sell its franchise for all the frequencies for a large amount of money. Somebody should have told them at the time that the, 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 the risks and the dangers they placed in certain frequency uses around fields, airfields, metropolitan fields, that should have been done at the time. The fact that the, when the incumbents took the decision to double the power of the antenna, which is not the case in Europe or other places, and the upright nature of the antenna, somebody should have told them a long time ago that it would compromise safety of operation of aircraft in metropolitan areas with catastrophic consequences if this was allowed to continue. I think that message got through at a very, very late stage. The honest thing to have done when you're dealing with the safety of hundreds of thousands of people, not only in aircraft, but in the metropolitan cities that they approach and land, is to suspend or uh, uh, disable, if you like, the very systems that are likely to cause the problem until such time as there is an elegant solution, which could be you reduce the power. You, you don't have so many antenna around fields, etc. But to let it get to this stage where we have 32,000 people in our system over the next three days who have been completely inconvenienced as a result of flight cancellations. Why did you take this decision? I mean, I know other airlines did as well. What was it that so concerned you? Um, when you, because this has been moving forward for some days. We got wind of something going on because uh, we, we got mixed messages, both from the manufacturer, from the US government and other players. And so we really drilled. We insisted that we knew exactly what was going on. Uh, and it had to be fairly binary because obviously you cannot compromise safety of operation in any, any circumstances. We are aware that everybody is trying to get 5G rolled out. After all, it's the super cool future of, uh, of whatever it may be, communication and information flow. We were not aware that the power of the antennas in the United States have been doubled compared to what's going on elsewhere. We were not aware that the antenna themselves have been uh, put it into a vertical position rather than a slanted position, which then taken together uh, compromised not only the radio altimeter systems, but the flight control systems of the fly-by-wire aircraft. So on that basis, we took that decision late last night to suspend all our services until we had clarity. If they suspend the rollout and the the question of interference of our aircraft systems on approach and landing is removed uh, and we go back to status quo. In other words, that the, the 5G antenna around the metropolitan fields in the United States are disabled, then we will probably restore our frequencies to the nine cities in the US that we've had to uh, uh, suspend. AT&T, which uh, and Verizon have basically said, yeah, we are delaying, but we're not getting rid of. So what will it take? What assurances will it take to you if once this thing comes back up again that you will fly to those places? Something has to be done to disable this particular system so long as it compromises safety of operation. We will never allow our aircraft into the United States or anywhere else come to that where we have a compromise on radio altimeter calls or flight, uh, flight controls. So uh, uh, in, in the critical stages of flight, low level on approach and land. So until that is absolutely resolved, the notion that they would say, we're only suspending it, we're going to put it back, it kicks the can down the street to eat. I would say, no, this needs state intervention at the highest level to say, this is not going to happen because we are threatening the lives of people on these aeroplanes and in the cities that they're flying to. End of story. The right and honest thing to do is sort it out. Do not allow a conflict, a big business with all the other bits and pieces going on. Fact of the matter is you are endangering operations of flight. And that is why the likes of us have canceled 
because we are not prepared to take the risks of flying into a state which has allowed this to happen in the first place. 